First Minister returns from China this weekend after a week-long visit which has seen her discuss Scotland's constitutional future, women's rights and trade links. She's now flying back from Hong Kong where she was talking about the prospects for another referendum on independence. Our economy editor Douglas Fraser has been watching her progress from afar, I'm afraid, uh, Douglas. Um, tell me this, what was the message to Asia about Scotland's future from the First Minister? Well, as, as David Cameron has been finding in Southeast Asia this week, you may think you're promoting trade, but domestic politics does tend to follow you around the globe. Nicola Sturgeon chose to talk about the prospects for a second uh, referendum on independence, saying David Cameron cannot stand in its way if that's what Scots choose. She's still not saying if a vote for the SNP at next May's Holyrood election will be interpreted as giving her that mandate. She also took questions about campaigning for autonomy, uh, which in Hong Kong is a very sensitive uh, subject. Uh, so she said it's not for her to tell people uh, there what they should do, but that campaigning for democracy and in democracy can be invigorating with a Chinese audience in mind. She had to pick her words quite diplomatically. One thing I would say about the process in Scotland, though, is that it was a, a beacon of peaceful, democratic debate about the future of our country. And I think that holds a lesson uh, for many parts of the world. You know, the, the legacy of the referendum has very much been political engagement, you know, with an increase in political participation. And that is absolutely fantastic uh, for the strength of democracy in Scotland. And Nicola Sturgeon has also been promoting a wide range of, of business interests. What's she got to show for it? Well, this was her getting to know China, the Chinese getting to know her. She brought with her the, the novelty of being a female national uh, leader, and that allowed her to raise the issue of human rights through the prism of women's rights, where there may be more of a common language on which Europeans and the Chinese can uh, agree. The business deals you refer to that she was witnessing, at least, they were fairly modest, but she uh, used her profile, meetings, media interviews to promote Scottish technology and textiles, education. China's the biggest market for Scottish universities recruiting uh, outside uh, Europe. There was a bit of whiskey, though that's uh, exports to China, China are not what they were because it's now associated more with over-extravagant hospitality. Cultural links were emphasised, including the Edinburgh International Festival next month, though back here Conservatives were warning not to embrace Chinese cultural diplomacy too enthusiastically if it comes with strings attached. So, as Jack McConnell and Alex Salmon found before uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the Chinese expect a lengthy exchange of visits in both directions to build trust, uh, to build understanding before you get to the bigger deals. For instance, we may eventually have a direct scheduled flight which will be bringing a, a First Minister back from, say, Beijing to Scotland in the future. But we're going to have to be patient for that takeoff. Okay.